Today on Johnny Does It All, we're gonna be heading to the war-stricken land known as Providence, Rhode Island, AKA, also known as my home. We're gonna be talking about survival. What specifically, you may ask? Fire starting, an essential skill needed in almost any survival situation assure that you'll get out of this alive. For this, let's head to my friend Jim's house, a longtime friend, and he's gonna show us several different methods of fire starting. Let's head there now. Hey, uh, I'm gonna show you how to get a bow drill fire going. Um, I made a bow drill here, a, bo a bow. This is just a, a branch, a heavy duty branch, a hardwood, I think it's a maple I could get actually. Um, and I put a piece of paracord on here. You could actually make it, I made a string out of, uh, I made a cord cordage out of a, a yucca plant before. You can make it out of um, basswood basswood but right now I'm just for these purposes I, I have cordage so I'm using that made a spindle and a, a hearth here out of um, this is a tulip poplar tulip poplar along with the hand the handhold thing um, the divot or whatever and I cut a little divot in here a little divot and I started started this going till it starts to burn started to burn and as you can see I got the one end of the the spindle as like a, a tip of a pencil and the other end i have like a chewed up eraser the chewed up you know the end of a eraser on a pencil so that's going to be the bottom the chewed up eraser part and this is going to go in the the divot that i made made in here and so that's going to go like that and we'll see how it goes like i say the the first thing you're going to know about about um uh, survival stuff is expect to fail <laughs> that's the best way okay uh, expect it but hopefully we want this time okay I gotta oil this up so I'm gonna get some oil some greasy from my, my greasy porty freaking Irish skin here you know a lot of times like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> <laughs> grease it up you gotta grease it up um, you can put mullen leaf. I think it's mullen leaf. Yes, I, actually, I've used mullen leaf before. Um, and there's other leaves that have a lot of moisture in it that you can use. But okay, for these purposes, I'm just using this. So let's uh, let's see how this goes. So what I do is put this in in the drill. You got to put the point towards you down, and then bring it up. Oops. Oh, oh you don't want to touch that to the ground. Up oh, and get that in there. You know, kind of nice and. It's got to be tight but not too tight so let's try getting this going and and then I have the important part over here the real important part is a bird's nest you got to make a bird's nest with to catch the ember in when you get the ember so I made this a little earlier and it's just like a bird's nest with a bunch of leaves and all kinds of stuff all muddled up in there um, all muddled up and to catch the catch it so I'm gonna that there for now. So let's see what we got going here. Oops. You don't want that to yeah, happen. Right? Yep, yeah, pops out sometimes. Like I say, you're gonna expect to fail, but we're not gonna. We're gonna get it. Nice. We are gonna get it. So I lock my arm here. I lock my arm into my leg over here so that it'll just stay and I'm parallel to the board, so. It's going by itself. Yeah. See if I can get in on it. Oh yeah, it's it's there. Number is there? Yeah. Nice. I don't want to move it too soon. It's kind of blowing on. I can see it. Oh yeah, there we go. 
And I'm going to bring the bird's nest to here. Tinder bundle. As opposed to the other way around. We've got plenty of time when that's going. Okay. There's a lot of fuel in there. Slowly tap it out. Nice. <sighs> Looks awesome. You see, this is how we get fired. 20,000 BC. <laughs> All right. Look out, Raquel Welch. See a nice amber we Can got you hold there? that amber up really quick? Yeah. So I want to get a, hold it up a little higher. I want to get a good focus on it. Got plenty there. Nice. Okay, I gotta get in yeah, here now. Slowly, keep it together. Keep it underneath. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Fire 20 BC. And that'll definitely get the fire started. Awesome, man. Sick. All right. Whew. Took a few tries. Yeah, we got it, though. <laughs> and that was the... Uh, there you go. And, uh, yeah, so that's how you do it. Took a while, like I say. Practice makes perfect, though. Whenever you need it in a oh, real yeah. situation, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's going, so I don't know if we want to keep this. Well, I'm throwing this. We got some sticks here, slow. I'm just putting this stuff on there for now. Ah. All right. Okay, so uh, gonna demonstrate how to do um, magnification fire. Basically, there's only like uh, I think there's six ways of actually making fire in this world, in the whole entire world. Five or six. Let me see. You got combustion. Uh, you got magnification, which is solar, so solar, uh, uh, friction, um, combustion, um, chemical. And, uh, geez, is that heat. it? Heat might be another one. <laughs> heat? Yeah. Well, heat. That's friction. Yeah. Friction, that's yeah. friction. Yeah. That's yeah. probably geez, it, man. It's either five or six, I can't remember. Anyways, this is pretty much the easiest and the one that conserves most of your resources because it doesn't take any energy to do it. And I made a little bird's nest here just out of some uh, grasses. And, and, oh, this stuff here is, um, I got little leaves that I bunch, uh, crumbled up. And, um, and I also got some um, uh, cedar, some cedar, inside cedar bark inside there. So we're gonna see, that usually catches pretty good. You're it's, just concentrating the beams in there? Yeah, I concentrate the beam in one place, look, oh, it's already smoking wow. instantly, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, like I say, this thing conserves most fuel. It's just a matter of getting it going the right, you know, getting it going, I mean, so. You're kind of assisting a blowing a little bit in there, right? Yeah, I'm blowing some air in. The more smoke, the more air it needs. That's that's it starving for.
Dude, that is amazing. There we have fire again, 20 BC. 20,000 BC. 20, 20 million. 000, 20 million BC. <laughs> that's well, awesome. There we go. That's uh, pretty quick. It usually happens that quick, you know. Yeah. And there's nothing in there, just leaves and and grass and stuff. But, so anyways, that's, that's the easiest way, the simplest way to make a fire with no resources, you know, the least amount of resources. But if you don't have a, a magnifying glass or some kind of lens, there's other methods. Right. There are other methods. You can... Geez, you can use water in a in a plastic bag, yeah, in magnify a plastic it. baggie, and, and make it into like a magnifying glass. Yeah. All right, Jim, explain us what we got going on here. Okay, so I'm gonna make a, uh, a um, spark fire with a my knife, back of my knife. This is just a simple uh, uh, old American hickory knife. It cost me like ten dollars. Best knife I have. Um, and a rock I found in my yard. It's just a rock I just found in the backyard here. I found a couple of them, but this seems to be the best one. And I'm just going to strike it like that onto a... On, and, and, and I also made uh, another bird's nest here. I made a bird's nest uh, to put the ember in when I get it. Um, I mean, you can just do... I have done it, just a spark right inside, inside the bird's nest. And I have gotten it. But it, this the easiest way to do it is to... Always make sure you have chalk cloth with you. And chalk cloth is just a cotton, pure cotton cloth that I've put in a fire before, beforehand. Like the last fire I have, I'll always make sure I make chalk cloth first. And how I make that, well, I'll show you afterwards how to make it. Let me get a little bit closer on that just so we can it's see. It's just a blackened chalk cloth, and this catches a spark so easy. It's just a. Uh, cloth uh, a t-shirt an old t-shirt cotton t-shirt i had okay. that I, I and i'll show you how to make some afterwards if you want oh uh, definitely um and so that's it so i'm just going to see about getting this so let me put this on a leaf or whatever i'll put this on a leaf for now or something let me see get a big leaf yeah just trying to let me just straighten this out and i usually don't use this much i usually just use a little a little dab of uh, the chalk cloth, but this time I'm using quite a bit because I want to make sure I get it. I just want to make sure I get this sucker. So I'm using a little bit more than what I normally do. Oops. You know what? I don't think I'm going to use this leaf. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're getting this. Put that there. Just going to whack the back. Like I say, this can be a chert. Uh, this is some sort of quartz. This is some sort of quartz and uh, quartz church, some sort of high stone that makes a spark. So you can, I don't know if you can see the spark from the sun, but. Oh, well, let me move this leaf. I don't want the leaf. Okay, I'm just gonna go like that. And I'm getting more of this cloth because I wanna make sure I hit it. I just wanna make sure I hit it. I can always make more, I have plenty, plenty of stuff. Oh. I definitely see the sparks flying. <laughs> yeah, and I think I got one. I already got it. Did you? Yep, right here. Nice. Maybe right there. There you go. There you go. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. I see it igniting. Let me see if I can get a close up on that. I'm going to put it in here. And that's going to keep burning. We're getting fire going here. Nice. Let me see another way to. Dude, that is so cool. Well, there you go. It's the third way to make fire. Yeah. All right. And that was, uh, like I say, to make chalk cloth. I'm going to show you how to make chalk cloth in a couple seconds. Very simple, but it's always nice to have in your pack, and along with a, a steel blade, along with a steel blade, and you just look around the ground for usually quartz, chert, uh, flint, quartz, chert, flint, 
um, anything like that. Or Jasper, Jasper will work. Um, or Onyx, Onyx will work. Awesome. Uh, but just walk around and pick up your knife and whack the back of your knife to the rock. And if it sparks, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta rock there. And they're usually all over the place, you know. They, they, they're everywhere. They grow everywhere. <laughs> all right, Jim, you're going to show us how to make some char cloth? Yeah, I'm going to show you how to make char cloth right now. Char cloth is, a, is just a, a cotton cloth, pure cotton cloth that you, uh, you can use for sparks. It'll catch any sort of spark, like, instantly. It, it catches it so fast, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, we, we demonstrated a... Uh, uh, a spark a uh, percussion percussion fire i think yeah you call it percussion because you're whacking the stone um so we demonstrate but you can also use it for anything any sort of uh fire like even if you have a match and you don't you want to you have one match left you know and if you so anyway you make this when you have when you have uh, another fire going already so as you see we, we got a fire going with uh with with our um bow drill set so right now that's going and i'm going to show you how to do this is the one i made uh anyways this is my chalk cloth that i made that we used for and you see how it's all black it's just black 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 and um it's just pure cotton that catches the spark instantly and this is a, a little container that i had like an out this was a bb bb container and so okay i'm going to show you how to make your own out of a out of an Altoid can. This is good to like kind of keep you in like a in your like bug out bag maybe. Yeah, well I I keep it in my everything. I mean yep. when I go camping I don't leave home without it, you know. When I go camping I don't leave home without chalk cloth. I always I usually I even have chalk cloth in my pocket at all times. Nice. At all times I have chalk cloth in in my uh my little survival package here that I have. Jeez, I could t some people could take the world over with what's in here. You know? <laughs> like, I'm thinking like Matt Graham and, and Dave Canterbury, and they could take the world over what's in this thing. I mean, I got containers, uh, I got all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, everything, I got pretty much everything. Things to start fires, things that. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to make a chalk cloth container. So the first thing you do, empty Altoid can, right? Or any sort of little tin. It needs to be metal. It needs to be metal. So we're going to. I'm just gonna uh, gonna show you how to. So usually in the wild, if you're in survival situation, you would use a a rock, a, a sharp rock, a pointy rock, or your knife. Your knife. You can use the back of your knife. Uh, you know, the point of your knife to make a make a hole. So I'm just gonna make a hole in this in this Altoid in the middle. I'm just gonna grab another rock here and just that should have did that make a hole. Yep, that made a hole. So there you go. Just a little, pretty much a pinhole, you know? I, I know you can't see it. You probably can't see it. If you hold it up closer, I can. And right there. Can you see it there? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Let it's me. it's hard. But there's yeah. a little hole. Oh, yeah. I can see it. There's a little hole right there. If I go like that, maybe you can see the movement in the back of that hole. Definitely. So, or, or the yellow. Look at the yellow in the back. Can you see the yellow in the back? I don't know. Maybe so, maybe not. <laughs> so anyways, this is a, uh, so I just used the screw for that. But you can use a sharp rock like a pointy rock or whatever, or the or your knife, you know, the point of your knife. But the thing is to make a little in, hole in there. So I'm going to grab all this. I'm going to, I just got this uh, old t-shirt. It's 100% cotton. Like I say, you can use bandana. You know, I, I, I always have a couple bandanas on me all the time. So if I had to, I'd use those things. Um, but I'm going to, so I got strips. I'm just putting a couple strips in here. You know, I'm, I'm going to kind of rip it up a little bit. Rip it up, rip it up, rip it up. And that, that's enough for now. I'm just going to make that Take that a much. Tiny bit. Yeah, I'm just going to make that much. I have, I'm okay. going to save this because I got, I got more upstairs, but gotcha. I don't have much room to put this stuff. So I'm going to close this. We have a fire going. So what you do is you just throw this in the fire, throw this in the coals. Throw this in the coals. And, uh. Watch what happens. It's going to eventually, you're going to get smoke coming out of this hole here. Um, I'm just going to blow on this, get it going more. You can throw that right in the fire there. And in a little bit, you should start seeing some, uh, 
smoke coming out of that the hole there. And that's usually a sign that it's done, right? Well, no, when the smoke stops. When the smoke is, stops, okay. When the smoke stops is when it's done. Gotcha. And that's when you pull it out. But it's gonna be, it should be going pretty soon. Okay, we uh it's it just stopped uh it just stopped um smoking that hole. The smoke just stopped coming out. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna cool it off really quick. Let's cool this off. Uh, make make sure it's cool. Like I say, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna burn my hands a little bit because I just want to get this done and show you guys what what it's gonna be like. So I can do this. I got calluses on my fingers everywhere, so I barely feel anything. Anyways, um, yeah. But it's seem cool enough. Yeah, it's cool enough. There we go. Can All we right. turn that around a little bit just so the camera can see it? So here we go. We got All right. nice and cool. And then we got perfect char quartz right here. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. There you go. This stuff will catch a spark in a couple seconds. Like a little nothing, pretty much nothing. <laughs> you can almost fart on this stuff and it'll light up. <laughs> almost the heat from your, you know, the spark from your ass. But uh, okay. There you go. Awesome, man. This could actually be done a little bit more. You see how it's a little colorful? Yeah, you could probably toss it in a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm gonna toss it in just a little bit longer. At least our viewers get the, the point. Yeah, You know. but like I say, once the smoke stops, that's when you pull it out. Pull it out, let it cool off, and then check on it. Yeah. And you can always throw it back in if necessary. Yeah, you can always throw it back in, and if you have to, and to get it a little, because you saw, I don't know if you could see the color, there was still a little bit color in it. And I mean, it's still good, but I like it nice and nice and black. So that's it. That's uh, the three different ways of making fire, making uh, some char cloth. And uh, if you ever, it's always put it this way. It's always cool things, cool uncle things to teach you, <laughs> you know, teach your nephews and your nieces, uh, whatever. Even if you're not preparing for a survival situation. All right. Well, I I think you should. <laughs> I know that. You know, I've been preparing for survival for the past two years because I knew I knew this crazy shit was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, about two years now, a little more maybe. Uh, I got hooked on the survival shows, and that was it. I started buying books, started learning things. I'm on, uh, I'm on like my third or fourth book right now. This one's called uh, Wilderness Living. I got, I'm reading reading now. And like I say, this this should be good. I, mean, I just keep it on for a little bit longer, but I mean, I mean, it stopped definitely stopped smoking. So. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Uh, before we wrap up, I'm going to talk to Jim here, and I'm going to see, do you have any, uh, you know, some advice that you can give to some enthusiasts on survival? I say just keep uh, keep learning. Uh, cause every day, I think there's a, I learned something pretty much every day almost. You know, I'm always reading, uh, reading survival books, a lot of Dave Canterbury stuff, a lot of, uh, what is it, Les Stroud, Les Stroud uh, the survivor man, you know. Um, he's always good, his stuff. Uh, that's the book I'm reading right now. Well, no, no, the book I'm reading now is, uh, is, is, is endorsed by him. Um, but it's these two old people that have been living in the woods for like 50 years and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm like really good. I own some of the David Canterbury stuff. Yeah, yeah. I have I, the box set. Yeah, I have pretty much all of them, too. Um, the only thing I don't have is the medical, the medical one. The, that's the only one I don't oh, have. Oh, yep, I have that one. Yeah, I figure if I get... Whatever her, I'm, <laughs> I'm screwed. No, I'm you got screwed some, anyway. You got you some know? skills, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I don't know. It. I hope you enjoy the videos and everything. Uh, glad we were able to show you some things. And like I say, all you got to do is keep trying. And, and number one, the first thing to to realize about survival things is the first uh, rule of thumb is um, uh, expect to fail. <laughs> Expect to fail. <laughs> One of the things I, I know that I always read in survival books is basically the hardest thing to survive is when you're in denial. So like acceptance is huge. Oh, yeah. uh, knowing your situation and accepting that you are in this situation now. If you don't accept that you're in it, then you're going to basically have false expectations and you're going to set yourself up to failure. A big part of it is the mental game. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I would say definitely acceptance is rule number one. Admit that you're lost. Uh, admit that you might be there for a little while 
and figure out what you're going to need for supplies. Mm -hmm. uh, fire is definitely one of the very first things you should start looking into. Shelter, fire, water, all those things. So, um, so the fire, yeah, the shelter, fire, water, and, mm -hmm. and food. You know, absolutely, shelter, fire, water, food. And then you get the the five five C's, which would be cordage, uh, combustion, uh, container. Mm -hmm. That's why I always have uh, aluminum foil on me. Yeah, maybe we'll do a. Uh, Eventually, we'll do a video on water purification without having water purification tablets. Like, <laughs> well, I have I have filters. I have hand filters and what do you call it? Survival I straws, life straws. Life straws. I always keep a life straw on me. Yeah, I have a, bu a bunch of stuff like that, and then uh, and then of course you can always boil boil the water. Um, There's a bunch of methods. Boiling rocks. You can boil heat up rocks, rocks and yep, drop yep. them in water. Drop and, them in water. Yep, yep, yep. So we'll 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 make some videos on that eventually in the future. Yeah, um, cool, cool. But. Uh, I'm looking forward to having you back on doing another video. We're gonna have to do some stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Johnny does it all. We appreciate you uh, subscribing to our channel. Johnny does it all. <laughs> if you haven't done so, make sure you set your notifications to all. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. All right.